Welcome back to Limbus Company, Daily Mirror Dungeon. We're doing Mirror Dungeon 3 hard today instead of tomorrow. We're doing it before the update comes out. Um, the weekly bonus isn't active, but that's because I'll claim the weekly bonus as soon as it becomes active. And it's mainly because, um, if we take a look over here, I don't have very many boxes. Sure, 340 is decent, but when we've got two three stars to unlock, and then there's, there's two three stars to upgrade and two two stars to upgrade, there's a very decent chance I do not have enough boxes and thread and shards and all that sort of stuff. So I'd like to get those rewards sooner rather than later. So we're going to run a burn team. However, as you can tell, it's far from a standard burn team because we're running Pegwad Ishmael. Um, I feel like it's worth trying her on a burn team. Is it a good idea? Not really. She's got a bit of burn, true, but like it's nothing too special. But eh, it's worth a shot, right? Like Leo Ishmael is obviously better for a burn team, but... A little bit of variety, and you know, how? who am I to say no to another chance to use Captain Ishmael? We do love that Captain Ishmael. Okay, right, uh, I guess we'll go Pierce. And you can see, um, starting out with the stuff to make the fusion gift, started out with all the, uh, Wish of Stars benefits, so we're starting with Glimpse of Flames. So when we get a bunch of burn on enemies, um, it just does a lot of damage. It's a little differently than it used to work. I kind of... I don't think I've used Glimpse of Flame since Mirror Dungeon 2 times, so I haven't really made use of it here. But it's no longer target needs to have 30 burn in order for it to trigger. Now it just consumes half a burn count to do that much damage each turn. And they also lose defense levels. Generalizes a bit with Magic Bullet Otis, really. But yeah, we're gonna run a normal type burn team. You know, you know how it goes. And we rely on Dust to Dust in order to have, like, any burn count at all. As always. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll see just how this goes. Claim your passive is already active. Oh, yeah. Makes sense. Okay. Uh, we can get that Wrath Resonance going. Sure thing. Get that assist attack potentially going for the sake of it. That resists self destructive purge. It still staggers, so that's fine. I have a feeling it, it, this attack is not going to trigger. Yeah, because Gregor already attacked. See, there's a good way to tell is if the person who's going to get the assist attack already starts attacking before, like, Captain Ishmael's skill 2 goes off, then it's not going to happen. Pretty safely. Yeah, a combination of Dark Flame and, uh, Glimpse of Flames is going to make these enemies blow up pretty quickly from burn, hopefully. We just need to get stuff to stack burn. That's going to be the main issue. Let's see how lucky we are on that front. There's some stuff that's pretty good for Burn. I don't know, I think the issue is... Burn's got a really underwhelming other tier 3 EO gift, because it's the uh, charred disc. Which spreads Burn on kill. Which is nice if there's enemies to kill, but like, a lot of bosses... Some bosses, you can't really make the most of that. There's a, there's a decent bit of bosses that do have minions, but... Most of them don't. A lot of them have bosses that you can't exactly kill. Like, if you get, like, Skin Prophet, you, you can't really kill the candles. You can never trigger that. Or if you get, like, I guess Doomsday Calendar. That's a lot er earlier, but those enemies don't count as being killed when you defeat them. So yeah, bur burn count's just gonna be the issue, though, across the board. Because there's no evil gift that give burn count other than um, the obvious ones. You know, Dust to Dust and the Fusion Gift. So hopefully we'll be fine. We get a shot off here. I mean, might as well. You don't have a lot of sanity. Eh, we'll, we'll not do it. If your sanity is not good, we probably shouldn't bother, right? I think that's a logical way to look at it. Get the kill, get your sanity up through that method. And don't spend the... It would be zero sanity, right? It's zero sanity anyways at one bullet, but... So I was worrying about nothing, but... I realized that afterwards. Captain Mishmael's talking about who knows what now, as always, doesn't matter which of these events we pick. Spider Marriage is healing, and I guess if we ever get a Pride Resonance, which is possible, I guess. Okay, but fusion time. We fuse these two together. We get Soothe the Dead, so you know, inflict burn count to all enemies each wave. If we have a bunch of potency between all enemies, as long as we've got five burn stuff. Anytime we inflict burn, we inflict more potency, count, and just more power. This applies to, I think the only skill we have that has no burn on it is Cap Nishimal's skill 1, otherwise we have burn on everything, because that's the only thing that is unaffected. 
And if we go to Enhanced Gifts, we've got over a thousand costs. We can upgrade Blade of the Flames to plus plus, so it deals 1.5 times damage now. And it does two times the Consume Burn damage. Which is a little bit silly. Helderfly's Dream for more burn potency. Wrath Resonance is more burn potency too. It's good stuff. And then we can carry on. Yeah. Having so much... I like, I got, I'm at like 6,000 starting now. I've been grinding really hard the past two days. Just to make sure I can get a lot of boxes. Like you might notice, I had like 200 boxes. On like... Sunday, I think. On Saturday, something like that. And then I started fully grinding again, and now I'm up to 350 or so. I'll get to 400 after I clear this, I believe. Once I claim the rewards. I'll have to claim the rewards off-screen, because, uh, you know how it works. In case you don't know what I'm doing with the Mirror Dungeon 3 hard, doing it beforehand. But if you beat the run and then don't claim the rewards, you can then wait until the actual week resets and then claim the rewards, and that works. It's a nice little way to just do it if you want to make sure you get that as soon as possible. And I do know it would be cool to like do, you know, a Mirror, Mirror Dungeon 3 hard for this week with the Blade Lineage IDs. But I figured, I mean, I might as well wait for next week because who to say, who's to say I'm actually going to get the Dawn ID in time? I might not need to wait till next week to get that anyways. Who can say? Okay. Luckily, everything we have hit with burn gets a little bit of burn count thanks to Soothe the Dead. Very useful. And victory. Good stuff. Fiery down, obviously, would be insane for us doubling burn potency, making it so we can build up the burn a lot faster. Um, we probably just take Bloody Gadget here. I think so. Defense skill, base power. It is annoying, don't get me wrong, but... I'd rather take it over the others because it affects less enemies. It just is annoying for ones with evades, basically. AKA, like, Pequod Town members, that sort of thing. Parmilla, sure thing. Homebird's nice. A little bit of healing is always appreciated. Leap Bloomer's Tattoo is also really good. And Coffee and Cranes is... I'm just buying all of it, yeah. Gregor, get another skill three. Yeah, I'm down for that. And we'll save that 140 for the next shop. I think that was a good shop. We got a lot of things that aren't necessarily the best for us, but are pretty decent. Carmilla just makes it easier to kill enemies. Home Workers of Healing. Late Bloomer's Tattoo for, you know, benefit from our pride IDs, aka the Captain and Magic Bullet. And Coffee and Crane so we get more resources whenever we use Lust skills, which is going to be very often because Lust is one of the few things we have. And we don't actually have any Gluttony on this team. So it's nice that we actually have a way to get Gluttony. Of course, most people are well aware that burn teams don't have gluttony in the slightest, especially because, um... 9 2 Faust and being the gluttony burn ego. For some reason. It's something people have talked about enough, and I, I shouldn't just keep on ragging on it, because, like, everyone knows it is not... not Faust 9 2 is not good. By any stretch of the word. It's a cool idea. That's it, though. Nothing else really good. Being able to actually like, spend burn on the target for like, what is it, defense down? Something, I don't remember. I don't know, I do not think I've used 92 Faust since the one run I did focusing on it when it released. Which might be a little harsh, but uh... It's, it's not good. And I think that's clear, we still wait for... I think there's a decent chance in two weeks time we're gonna get the uh, Liu banner. You know, 3-star for Ryoshu, 2-star for Faust, something like that. I'd hope we get, you know, a non-Liu uh, burn ID banner. That would be cool. But they don't seem to have very many ideas for that. Like, the only, like, actually new burn ID that actually focuses on burn had to be Magic Bullet, of all things. Which is a little bit iffy, that's for sure. I mean, it makes sense. For Fry shoots is Bernie, but he's never it's never been Burn in the past. They just needed Burn support from something. Like, I've said it before, my hope is Stigma Workshop, more like Workshop stuff in general, because I'm a big fan of the Workshops in this universe, but... Not exactly the most, like, reliable thing. But the thing is, if you think about all, like, the Burn factions we know of... Like, Liu is, like, the only, like, widespread, like, enough Burn faction to get an ID. Unless they were willing to just give us something random new. Which I feel like could be cool. I don't know. We might. We're probably gonna get burned stuff next season. 
I wouldn't be surprised if season four is going to be the, uh, the the buffing of burn season. Because this season has made poise insane. There's been so many new poise IDs that it's gone from being a pretty mediocre status effect that uh, didn't really have enough going for it to being like one of the best. Because there's so many good IDs with poise. And we haven't even got Blade Lineage stuff yet. Oh yeah, I should also mention that I'm going to be streaming the Blade Lineage event as soon as it releases, two hours after this video is posted, the usual, that sort of thing. Enough of that. Okay, this is Cyborg. Sad. We'll kill them, though. We'll burn them to death pretty easily. You guys are doing that, alright. A little rude. Whack him a little bit like that. Hit you. Hit you. Sure, it seems good. But yeah. Each each season has had some sort of focus on status X. Season one, of course, being burn. Or no, season one being bleed through the use of Encore. Uh season two was like tremor ruptury. I don't know, hard to say exactly. There's a bit of sinking too. And this season, and season three has been poised without a doubt. A little bit of envy, a little bit of pride. Some folks on Cinefendi stuff is cool as well, but it's been primarily poisoned a lot of years. So hopefully next season is like burn and slash. That's that's really. Although slash really isn't in bad position anymore because uh, I keep on uh, slash being bad is kind of how it's been traditionally. However, there's a big wrench in that being a concept. That being the uh, newly. The new, the soon to be added identities being pretty much exclusively slash stuff. I'm gonna, we're gonna go full overkill on these guys for the bit. Cool. Oh, you're gonna corrode as well. That's all right. It'd be like that sometimes. Okay. Shoot some of these guys, two of them in fact, nice. More burn, more dark flame, that sort of thing. Burn those who do to care for me, that sort of thing. Fueler memories, fueler memories if you perish with the heat, perish with the heat so I can move on. We need that fiery down and soon. This guy would have been max burn already if we had that. Okay, investigate the factory, now we gotta take down the big one again. Alright. Uh. Hey there, buddy. What are you, uh, doing this turn? Hopefully, nothing, uh, dubious. I can pray. What, this hits Merce, though? Okay, that's fine. We're not going for the Lost Residence, so you won't gain more weight. What's the other one doing, though, just to make sure? Yeah, no. Huh? Why did it say it was clashing there? What? You saw that. He was. You can see he's, like, clashing Ishmael when I do this. He's not actually, doesn't seem like, but it's funny how they've got, like, that little... they got it displaying as if he is. Alright. Well, that's fine. We're stacking more burn on you. Yeah. Just for the sake of it, seeing how far we can push it. See what the dead means that Gregor's skill 3 is actually pretty good for burn count, which is nice to see. Given how it usually really isn't. And Merso resists blood. He's weak to lust, that's true. So it's not, you know, the nicest thing, but he's fine enough. He gets staggered, that's okay. We've got Homeward, he'll heal up in time. Yeah. If explode. You love the city you live in? No. You love the city you live in? No. You love the city you live in? No. Okay. I'm fine with watching. It's much more enjoyable than putting this guy down with our own hands. There we go. Yippee. Oh, there's Fiery Down. Okay. And he's deal more damage. Back to this is what I want to take anyways. Damage up means that they don't gain any clash power or anything. So it doesn't make resonance of their clash chances. We get a rest stop here so we can upgrade Fiery Down immediately to plus plus. So now it 2.5 times burn just to really rub it in. We can upgrade Carmilla, make normal fights a little easier. We didn't get lucky there, that's fine. 
An upgrade bloody gadget too, why not? More damage up to a random ally. Almost there. Like, most of our team is Lust. The only ones who don't are, like, the newfangled IDs. These four all have Lust. Yeah. My dog, Gregor, is currently sleeping peacefully in the cage. It's not locked or anything. He just, he just likes to sleep in the cage because he's silly sometimes. Which is fair enough. It's adorable. It's nice because it means he's, like, right next to me. Because I keep the cage, like, right next to my desk. So he's just kind of chilling next to me. <laughs> We're also about to shoot that guy who's, like, already almost dead and will die to burn. So magic bullet fire is a little unnecessary. Or not, never mind. Might have been mistaken. Should have gone Kapote and Merso. That would have been nice. Getting some Kapote action off. It's a coolie though. Just a lot of burn, a lot of tremor, synergy type deal. Oh, you desperately need to get some kills. You have not been getting kills because the burn's been doing most of the killing. So you are not very happy. Alright. We'll let you get this kill. It's higher level than you, yeah. So you're gonna get 25 candy. That'll work out for it. We just as long as you get like a, a kill per fight, you should be relatively fine sandy wise. What are you doing? Oh. Oh that counts as a kill for Ishmael. I don't think it gives her sanity, but it, her sanity doesn't go down. Her pa her sanity mentions how his stack counts as a kill for her. I don't know if it counts as a kill for healing or sanity. I should have probably checked. It did not, that's unfortunate. Well, we get this thing, which means everyone loses, like, 20 more sanity. That's fine. Ishmael's gonna be fighting for her mind out here. Some days it'd be like that. I can understand. Okay, but you get more damage against these guys, so you might be able to just demolish them. They're already staggered as well. Promising. Promising. Oh, that you're gonna get tails, so you're not gonna do a lot of damage. Who knows, maybe you'll get a 40% assist stack chances. You actually might have. It looks like you did, potentially. I'm trying to tell, it does look like Gregor is, uh, going good. Oh no, it's Honglu. Honglu, yeah, Honglu went again. So, assist attack did get a kill there off the 40% chance of it triggering. And they all just died to burn, so Ishmael doesn't even get a chance to kill any of them for sanity. Uh, we'll take the lunch. It really matters to pack too late because it lies a lot, but... I'll trust it for this time. I mean, you're the only one who's even slightly fast, so we'll demolish you. Any of these guys with, like, everything else we've got. Your weak to lust will hit you with that. Your weak to that, yeah, okay. This will work. Harpoon of Obsession isn't the best thing. Maybe we pull that on someone else then. Yeah, we'll try it there maybe and then... Okay. You might win that clash, which would be nice. You'll get some sanity up. We desperately need you to win some clashes, get some kills, that sort of thing. Because, uh... I mean, statistically speaking, one of these guys is going to get left on like 1 HP. Assuming they don't all die to burn immediately. Which might be a little bit of a rough uh, thing to trigger since they might just all die and burn immediately. We'll see. If this fight takes more than a single turn, then we should be able to get a kill pretty easily on Ishmael somewhere, right? We can pray. And pray that she didn't get the kill with the assist attack or something this time around. Oh, your sanity's a little bit low. You need to keep an eye on that. Don't really want you corroding too much. Even though most of the Leo IDs are resistant to blunt. A fair bit of the units of the team are weak to Wrath or Lust, since that's just how they are. Okay, yeah, a couple of these guys are alive. You might be able to kill top, right? Yeah, it's worth a shot. In the meantime, everyone else is going to focus the other two. Like that. No luck, alright. I think you are going to corrode next fight. You are going to be at negative... Yeah, we're gonna get three kills here, so you're gonna lose 15 sanity, so you're gonna be at negative 44 sanity, I believe. I think you were just dead. I didn't see how much in you were exactly. You were at negative 29, right? So you're gonna lose five, lose five, lose five. So, you know, not great. Really not great. 
Oh, Captain, my Captain. You're not doing great, Captain, my Captain. Okay, Blubbering Toad, for, you know, that Tremor synergy we got going on. Oh, speaking of Blubbering Toad, Blubbering Toad. Asher Mill is corroding, and she's going to... Okay, um... A little bit of a change of plans here. I think I'm going to have you use Rosate Desire simply so that you, uh... Do not troll us. Because if we do this, you should corrode into Rosate Desire, because we do not want Ardor Blossom Star or Blind Obsession to corrode, because those are very scary egos to corrode. Well, I mean, we'll just attack you a bunch, sure. That'll work. You're gonna corrode here, it's fine. You don't have coins, so it doesn't go, like, again or something. Yeah, sure, you just, you just, sure to just do 18 damage to that frog creature by roping it. Pretty scary stuff, I know. Burn, burn, burn. Time to step on the burn. The burn, yeah. Oh, we lose these? We win these, okay, good. And then we get even more burn off in the body here, so that you're immediately going to be max burn of the body second turn, thanks to uh, Fire Down. Yeah, you're taking a bit of damage here, and you did corrode into that thing, so that's fine. Okay. Oh yeah, you always target highest speed, so no matter what, you're targeting Gregor. Alright, that's fine. Gregor um, is weak to Pierce. Oh, uh, we could... No, everything's neutral to Lust. Alright, that's fine then. You block. It might work. I have my doubts, because it's homeless sometimes, but... Logically speaking, it should work like that, right? Right? Oh yeah, we're just gonna have everyone else just one side of the body, or one of these eyes, yeah, like that. And I mean, that should just be the win, right? Okay, yeah, I know you didn't block against this, because the block, despite being 9 speed, you really think the block would go first, and then because it's unopposed. But no, if you just, on just one side of the block, it does nothing. That's fine. Toad dies. Yeah, shoot it. 38 HP left on the eye, or on the creature itself entirely. There we go. That attack was effective. Sure was. And now we have Ishmael is back to zero sanity. Coin is scary, but it's also overload, which means it's really funny. Uh, Max is definitely not. Four Leaf Clover, yeah. I'll take the coin. I'll take the overload one, because it is very silly. Oh, and you get your disc here. So we can spread burn around when people die. This is one of those runs where the question is just going to be, how do we how do we do this first turn? And then once we do the first turn, it'll be, like, free from then on out. Burning Intellect, we'll take it. A Sacred Holder's not bad, because we do have poise thanks to Ishmael. Oh, Nebulaires are definitely not bad. We'll take it. Sticky Muck isn't bad. I don't think I particularly want it, though. I want to change someone's skills a bit, I think. I'm willing to sell stuff for the sake of this gold, because, like, this does nothing for us. This does nothing for us. Um, let me change someone's skills, please. Otis, absolutely. Give me another Magic Bullet Fire. Probably one of the better things. Probably the best person's skill set to change we could have asked for. Okay, I'll intervene this line. More healing. Oh no, this is the this is the this is the medkit one. Well, that is more healing still, but I was I was thinking of the uh, blood bag, the phlebotomy bag, which is from uh, Nymph, not Centaur. That was Centaur we got the first aid kit from. Okay. Plus have an offense level means these guys might be a wee bit scary, especially with these your sanity and. Uh, your weakness to blunt and lust oof. Snag Harpoon should be a plus two sanity in total. That's cool. Range of knowledge. You'll lose sanity if you do something like that. We can go with the neutral. That's alright. Okay. 
You have to chart your own path, as you do. No, 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 no. Oh, right, you do it again. I forgot what you mean. I immediately grab coin and immediately forget I get co I coin. Like, there's been, never been a time when I got coin and then remembered to play around it when I'm doing egos and stuff. It just always escapes my mind. That's fine, though. It's not that big of a deal. And they all just die of fur. Especially because they're starting with lowered HP. I think it's a Carmilla. Or Camellia. No, it is Carmilla. Camellia. Camellia is the actual Dongback one. Oh. You know, to kill enemies even faster. Don't mind if I do. Oh, to kill enemies even faster. Don't mind if I do. We're getting a lot of stupidly good stuff right now. And I do mean stupid, like... <laughs> Once again, we win we, we, be, we win this first turn and we just win like, the game, basically. They all burn to death and uh, everyone claps. Come on. There you go. There's a clash win. Let's go. Like, what a funny ID to be a burn unit. When she is, like, the most, like... Not, she doesn't serve as a team at all, so she's not getting kills because everything's dying to burn. So she's not the one getting a kill. Like, when anyone's died to bleed, does it count as a kill for whoever's clashing against them? I'd... Hope so, but I don't know for sure. I know it kind of does in, like, Ruina. Like, in Ruina, it only counts as a kill if the person who inflicted the burn is the one clashing. It's weird. There's a whole video on how motion level stuff works in that game. It's very strange. But, uh... In this game, I don't know. But, like, Poise obviously just benefits your damage output and stuff. So, Poise does really well. Bleed is somewhat synergistic with that entire gimmick. And then... Then you've just got this whole burn team, which does not work with you very well. Not that I'm really shocked by that. I, I should say that I expected it to not work at all. I was just like, oh, maybe something funny will happen. We'll have you block so you get some Sandy back. Don't want you threatening. Let's see, is anyone going to survive this turn? Maybe. It's possible. There's one guy we just blocked, right? I don't think that guy got hit by anything else, did he? I think that guy survived, yeah. So we, um, unsurvive him. Simple as that. Nice 44 poise potency, uh, Otis. I know it's because you're funny passive, but still. Very interesting. Well, Slash Wrath might be Chromer time. I'll prepare just in case it is. It is not. All right. Okay. Good enough. Two magic bolt fires start out. Don't mind if I do. We'll see what we actually need to have flash again. Okay, you don't win clashes. That's fine. Be expected, I suppose. Um. Hmm. We'll go for that neutral. With that neutral. Clash one of these, and then clash this. And that's decent. We're doing these to get some burn on the other parts with our random attacks. It's something. Nothing like too special, but it's something. This goes again, thanks to the coin. Very nice. Bunch of burn. Being a bunch of burn, we just stack burn on the body like this, it's already gonna be a max potency. Take Spirey down. And this attack actually isn't a lot of burn. I... And what happened in my mind was, I was like, oh, it is a Wrath skill. That means it is very good for us. Because, you know, logically, I was thinking of burn with Wound Player, or bleed with Wound Player, and how, you know, then Wrath skills are just super good for it. But that is not the case with burn skills. Burn skills synergize with l Lust to do damage without stuff that actually is burn, thanks to the Fiery Downing, it's a Lust deck inflict like burn. Or Envy Attacks, too, but we don't have that respective gift. You're at 45 HP. Alright, we're gonna shoot you dead. That's cool. 
If only we, like, won that one clash, then this thing would have died in a single turn. Burn's a little strong. Imagine if we had Leewish, man. Hmm. I kind of want to take Overload 2 to really lean into the bit, but that is a bad idea. But these do give them max HP. I'll take it. Mogamire, Sunshire don't matter to me. M Lightning Rod also doesn't matter to me, but I'm willing to go all in. These enemies will have stupid offensive levels. And I've accepted that. Hung Lu, don't really want to your skills. Otis? Get more of these? Oh. Absolutely give me that. Excellent. There's a couple levels for us, so we're going to be doing better off. And we'll fight these Pekatule. It is 4-5, so we've got double wave encounters. Luckily, it's waves start for the sake of uh, inflicting all that burn with uh, Sue of the Dead, right? I think so. I think I think I went over this earlier. Yeah, first turn start of wave. Burn count to Alabrini. Yeah, if we look at your offense level, for example, um, not that insane, actually. I feel like this isn't telling me the truth, though. Because, like, you have... Oh, you've got offense level minus four right now. That might be offsetting it. Because you've got... If we go through all these status effects you have, these benefits, you've got plus seven... Plus, you've got plus 17 offense level from the two overloads. You've also got a bunch of minus defense level, which is really good for triggering, like, your passive and stuff. I'm gonna just blind obsession for Christian. You're not gonna win any clashes here. Nope. You win this clash. Okay, sure. You can do that. You can do that, and then can you do that? Neutral. Mm. You can try it. Actually, that's decent. And this is a neutral, which isn't great. We'll have you take the neutral, though, because it's Honglu. What's he gonna do? Die? Am I right? Or am I right? Yeah, we stagger. That's also something to keep in mind that I was not keeping in mind. But these guys have so much defense level down and stuff, but they were doing so much damage. Like, their only defense... It said their only defense level, like, 50, right? Which... Is not a lot. That's for sure. Okay, we cannot redirect bare much of these attacks, so let's see what we can actually do as Clash Games without needing to redirect. We can beat you with that, that's good. Beat you with that. Actually, we can beat... Can we do that? Eh, not very likely. We try this out. Can you do this? You do this, and then we just gotta clash you. Neutral. I'm fine with that neutral. I think so, yeah. And then we'll throw a pursuit at the end to you. Looks good. Yeah, we win this neutral, too, so we're chilling. Like, somehow this is, like, even cleaner than, like, the Bloys run, the Bleed Boys run. I did, like, two weeks ago, I think it was, yeah, because last week with Tremor, two weeks ago, was the Burn Boys. Two weeks? Is, is it only been two weeks since Captain Ishmael? It feels like she's been out for, like, months now. Or, like, at least eight months. No, it's only been two weeks. Oh, Gregor has rolled onto his back in, in his sleep and is being very adorable. Boy. Yeah, it's probably just because I've used Cavendish on probably half of the runs since then. I've probably used her like at least seven times. Yeah. I think so. Nope, event. Oh, we can get more level if we go for chains, and we don't really need the Yugo resources, so we'll try it. Yeah, you got this. Come on. Nice. Oh, it's guaranteed to the magical fire. Well, everyone gets three more levels on top of everything else we already have going for us. And the fact we're probably going to get more levels at the end because we're going to upgrade piece of relationship if we can. I think is... Is the circuit board the only burn gift we don't have? I think so, right? I'm trying to think if there's anything else we're missing and nothing's really coming to mind. Circuit board is really nice, don't get me wrong. It's kind of fortunate we don't have that, but we're doing fine on burn, so it doesn't matter too much, but it would be even more. It's really good for, like, Liu, Gregor, and especially good for Liu Ishmael, who is not on this team. Anyone who's got a lot of coins. It would actually be really good for Captain Ishmael 2's burn output, because then our skill 1 would actually inflict burn, and our skill 2 and 3 would uh, also inflict burn, I think, because they're burn skills, yeah. The skill 1 being Envy is why it would work. For your context. <laughs> 
Like, yeah, Captain Ishmael's done nothing this entire time. And they all die immediately. Nice. Good stuff. You're struggling. It'd be like that sometimes. Some days you struggle. That's fine. Well, this goes twice thanks to the coin, assuming you don't kill with it. But you showed him these guys resist Pierce. But it'll be a lot of dark flame, so that's nice. Although if that guy gets shot with the magic bullet, he will in fact die. Although I don't think he will. No, he definitely won't. Because of how the game works, it would not have shown that guy dying. Unless that guy does not get hit by any attack that comes before on the chain. Because, like, that was right here. So the guy that that was low HP was there. So, like, logically, nothing over here could kill it. Because just how turn order works, right? I think so. But does this kill anyone? It does not, which means it gets to go again. Yeah, there's a lot of Dark Flame. Not that it matters, because I think they all die next turn. And Dark Flame's a little delayed, basically, because it doesn't trigger until the end of the next turn. The actual damage output. Oh. We win these? Nice. There's our victory. Oh, another event. Star Luminary. Um, sure thing. Okay, good, I mean. No reason not to, of course. Doesn't help us too much at this point. Um, we can take another Blunt fight. We're not even having to take anything too scary here. We're just taking things that are weak to Blunt, which is our main damage type. Although we do have a fair bit of Pierce on this team, but Blunt is the primary one for Burn, because these guys are almost exclusively Blunt. The only exception being your skill 3 is Pierce. And you two, you're exclusively Pierce, and you've got Blunt Skill 1 and 2 and Pierce Skill 3. If my memory is correct, and I do believe it is. Burn Team is one of the ones I know very well, because it's just one of my favorites. Magic Bolt Fire? Okay, that was cool, but what if you did it again? Yeah, like that. You hit two people this time. Yeah, like that, and one of them was dead because of that. And then the other guy's dead too, because he gets hit by an attack. There was actually, like, exact damage, pretty much, I think, there, just because that skill 3 is not a very high-damaging one. Okay, wave 2. Struggling, struggling. Not really a shocker there. Um, we'll use Rosate Desire with you. Because, uh, once again... If you do corrode, I'd really rather it not be Blind Obsession. Although it probably won't matter, because you're going to get a negative 45 sanity this turn, and all the enemies are going to die. And therefore, um, you're going to corrode at the start of the next fight, which is not fun. We might... Depending on how things go, we might not have another fight, though. I think there's one more node, but there might be an event there or something. Although it might not be. We've gotten a fair bit of events so far. Don't know if it'll be that nice. Oh, you get a kill, though. That's, 50, that's 25 sanity. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, you're super good now. We didn't even need to bother that Rosé Desire. And you sure to get the heads of the negative 10 sanity. Alright. My coin luck is never good. I don't know why. My coin luck in particular is always what I struggle the most at. I guess that's, that's how it goes. Oh, coin triggers for Rosé Desire though, so you basically lost more sanity than you gained. No, you gained some. Not enough to warrant, though. You gained, like, five sanity in total this turn. And because we're going to kill enemies, we probably are going to lose that five sanity right here. Yeah, there was that five sanity you gained this turn. And there was five more, so you did, in fact, lose five sanity this turn. And you don't kill, though. You died to burn, which shouldn't trigger. That oh, you don't even die to burn. Okay. That's cool. That's 25 more sanity for you, so you should be fine. Because you can do 5 damage, surely. Yeah, there you go. Simple enough. Oh yeah, overheated harpoon. That's right. You gain, you gain more burn when you get kills. With the pride resonance, which doesn't trigger a lot in burn teams. Oh, we did get an event, though. KQE? Nope, alright. That's fine. We will step forth. No one... I'm tempted to let, like, Sinclair get punched or something so he loses 40 sanity. Yeah, I'm down for it. He loses HP too, but you know that 40 sanity loss means that he's going to be in a great position to just kill this upcoming boss. Um. I don't really think I do anything here. 
I could roll for like something. I give Gregor another skill three. I'll take that. But uh, otherwise, um, anything here would not matter anymore. Yeah, you. Okay, we'll sell you. Just so we can make sure we've got enough costs so that we can go here and give ourselves a couple more levels by just maxing up the relationship. And I guess we'll upgrade Burning Intellect too. Do we get lucky? Nope. All right. We'll upgrade uh, Lowest Star as well then. No, we can't. We'll upgrade Nebula as well then. That works. Oh, we actually didn't get charged for that. Cool. We'll upgrade Pen and Assault as well. Oh, we didn't get charged for that. I don't think there's anything else we can even upgrade, though. Yeah, everything we can upgrade has been upgraded at least once already. Well, that's fine. Slash and Pride. All right. Uh, who's that going to be? Is that going to be Silk Current? No, no, it's Fey Lantern. I always forget you exist here. You only claim one person here, really. I have not seen um, Fey Lantern in Mirror Dungeon 3 before. This is my first time encountering. I know it's here, of course, but that's interesting. Well, we just gotta kill you, right? That's it. No, 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 nothing else, really. Well, we just do that then, and I assume you die. You've got, like, barely any HP here. If nothing else, the Fade Lantern will burn to death. And we, yeah, we just do enough damage. That's why I went for a bunch of weak attacks here, because I want to save my strong attacks for next turn. You expose your weakness. And we just kill you. I'm not even going to bother clashing here. Like, I highly doubt it's going to become needed. And sure, that might be overconfident speaking, but, like, I think I, it's deserved. Because it's funny. You know, it might have been overconfidence, but that's fine. A little bit of overconfidence is healthy, wealthy and wise. Oh, no, we've got self destructive purge. You're weak to wrath, aren't you? Yeah, never mind. No such thing as overconfidence in this world. And his magical fire does go twice. So that's cool, but you know, you can do it again, you know? Yeah, like that. Yeah. And Merso does in fact stagger plus this thing, and it just blows up. Alright. That was pretty cool. This was a 42 minute mirror done in 3 hard run. <laughs> you did the most, no shocker there. And Ishmael did more damage than Merso, at least. Look at this, though. These three didn't take a single point of damage this entire run. You guys did. That's to be expected, though. Some of that was probably, you know, intentional-ish. Like, Sinclair did, like, block at one point. That sort of thing. Look at that. Everyone also being level 53 because of the plus 10 level from Pete's relationship and the press plus 3 from taking the event from the uh, ribbon guy. And just look at this. Nice 270 starlight. And we... I almost pressed the claim rewards. We do not claim the rewards there. That's the strat. And because we'll save that for tomorrow. When the update actually comes out properly. Well, anyways. Paid later time. Like, imagine, like, seeing, like, a 45-minute long mirror in 3 hard video. Like, surely you'd think it's gonna be, like, an epic flop. But no, we're just that good. Genuinely, it's like shorter than the average mirror done in the three normal run. And do we just get one stars? That's alright, so I'm not that bothered. I'd like to get more shards and threads and stuff for the sake of the new IDs coming, but I'm okay if we don't get them. Yeah, that's alright. I'll get more daily pulls tomorrow and stuff to do. But yeah, um, that's what happens when you try running Piquad. Ishmael in a burn run. More accurately, that's what happens when you start with the Glimpse of Flames. Really, the secret for having good Mirrored in 3 hard runs is just do you get the, the, the Gift of Stars stuff, namely the one that makes you start with the Tier 4. Just because for most status effects, it's just an insane benefit. It's worth it, 100%. Although, I guess the one thing about that is it does cost a bunch of Starlight. It's only worth it if you run as many Mirrored in 3 runs like as I do. Like If you just run like 5 a week or something, you probably will just net even on the Starlight. Depends on how hard you grind it, but yeah, it works. But anyways, that'll be all for this time. Make sure you tune into the stream in a couple hours' time. 
like one and a half if you started watching this. It's less than an hour, probably. I don't know. It's whenever you're watching this. But yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.